despite being a tzaddik, despite being a tamim, Noach made one mistake that HaKadosh Baruch Hu shows every first grader every year. What? After the whole Mabul is over. What does Noach want? Peace of mind. Leave me alone. I survived a year with all these animals. A year with all these beasts. A year with all the barking. A year with all the peeping. A year with all the this. Cleaning up after everyone. A year. Oh, ah, let me have a drink. Let me have a little drink. Hey, plant. Let me get some. A little bit of wine. What's the problem? Kiddush. No. Kadosh Baruch Hu says to Noach, mistake. Why Noach? Why mistake for Noach? If you have a drink for Kiddush, no problem. Noach gets drunk, mistake. Why? Noach, you are East Tzaddik Tamim. You were always complete with Hashem. Never asking any questions. Never complaining. Never having anxiety. Never thinking, oh, I need a break. I need a vacation. You were always Shakul Badatcha. You always had your head straight. The wine is the exact opposite of you. Why? What does the wine do? Shake your mind up a little bit. Goes dancing a little bit. Looks over here, looks over there. Sometimes at the same time. Sometimes at the same time. It's not you, Noah. You're Tzaddik. You're Tzaddik. This is not you. It's like uh, somebody always says, the Torah, two, two, all wonderful things. All of a sudden, phew, says one of these cuss words. Hashem Yishmo. Hey, what happened? Now, if you see a truck driver or somebody at the gas station or somebody at the store saying a few curses, eh, what happened? It's like common language. Common language is a big deal. But someone that has a pekadosh, he says something, it shakes up the world. Why? You're a tzaddik. It's not you. It's not you to do it. This is also why Kadosh Baruch Hu gets upset, really, really upset at Bat Israel. You know why? Because he loves Bat Israel. He loves Bnot Israel. That's his daughters. And he says, My dear daughter, look at your grandmother, Sarai Menu. Sarai Menu was so beautiful, so beautiful, her skin was shining. To such an extent that the most beautiful, Gemara says this, most beautiful woman in the world that you could ever imagine looks like a monkey with hair on its face. Next to Sarai Menu. Next to Sarai Menu. And Abraham did not even know how beautiful she was. He didn't even know how beautiful she was. Until one time he saw her shin. One time. They married already for a hundred years. But he just says, oh, wow, you're beautiful. Thank you. Baruch Abba, thank you for noticing a hundred years later. If I was, I'd say, Avram, what's the matter with you? You're missing out. What are you going to marry me if you're not even going to look at me? Sarah was so beautiful, even Avram, if you didn't see, how come? Mothers, she covers herself. She cut, why? Because that's what a Bat Israel does. That's your grandmother. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, how can you be the opposite of your grandmother? How can you be? I have a pasuk in this week's parasha. You, but Israel, you read Tehilim every day. You go to Shul on Shabbat. You hear what the rabbi's drash is. You uh, get the, the girls together to do chalot. Everything great, right? You want to be tzadika. But what do you do? You have a week longer than the exile. Your sleeves just went on vacation. Your dress is not even a dress. In a previous generation, it was considered underwear. Why? You want to be cute. Like the goyim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, it's not you. It's not you, my daughter. Look, all you do, you do a fashat chala, and you do kiddush, and you do the nerot, the candles, you tzadika. But you forgot this pasuk. This pasuk says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will not see a shameful thing among you and turn away from behind you. Meaning, the moment that you look imadish, you don't cover your hair, you don't cover your body, my dear daughter, I simply cannot even be next to you. 
HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells his own daughter, my dear daughter, I love you. I created you. And I want to see you in Gan Eden. But I cannot even stand next to you. Or even accept your prayers. Or even allow your husband, you allow your husband to pray next to you when you're so immodest like you are. Why? HaKadosh Baruch Hu can't be there. Immodesty, I run away from it. I put my back to it, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says. I don't want to see it. Why? It's my daughter dressing like uh, Shem Yishmo. It's not you. It's not you. You're not acting like you. Noach was not acting like him. Why? Noach, is this tzaddik tamim? What's to you and wine? What are you doing? Abat Israel walking around in Imadis? It's not you. It simply doesn't belong. And this, Rabotai Yekarim, is what we do mourn. Every day. When our brothers and sisters don't act like they are. And unfortunately, there are many that are so far away that they become self-hating Jews. Self-hating Jews. Jews that are anti-Semitic. Jews that are anti-Torah. Why? They're acting not like themselves. Because they don't even know what they're supposed to act like. No one apparently ever taught them or no one taught them the right way. Or they simply are so addicted to their sins that they forgot what a mitzvah even looks like. So that is what we do mourn because this is our brothers that perhaps are still living now, are still among us now, and our whole goal is to get them closer. B'Shem Hashem Nasev and Atzliach, we're very excited to offer you the new Bezat Hashem app 3.0. It's a newer, faster app, full of Torah, lots of Kedusha, by uh, the Shurim that we do, myself, Rabbi Ephraim, Rabbi Chaim, uh, where you'll have uh, also newer features where you're able to use the app uh, while you're using other applications on your phone. You'll be able to share the, uh, the lectures directly from the app. You'll be able to donate online and support our Cube and our Torah work that we're doing. And the most exciting feature is that you'll be able to actually ask questions directly on the app and get answers from the rabbis directly from the app. This is something unprecedented, and Baruch Hashem will be able to offer it. Thank you again for all of your support. Check it out. Make sure you have the kosher Torah that uh, will re-energize your neshama each and every single day. Call to B'chavat